When Jesus was a very little boy, his mommy would read to him from the Bible scroll. And when he got a little bigger, he was able to read that Bible scroll for himself. And he loved to read the stories, and he loved learning his memory verses and putting God's word in his mind. Because Jesus was little, Satan thought it would be easy to tempt Jesus to do something wrong. But every time Satan would come and tempt Jesus, Jesus always had a verse from the Bible to tell him and be able to tell Satan no. Throughout his life, as he was growing, he continued to read and to learn, and he was always a very helpful boy, and he turned into a man, and he still helped in the carpenter shop and helped his mother at home. But one day, God told him it was time for him to go and begin a different kind of work. Jesus needed to go and tell people how they could be safe from Satan. One day, Jesus said goodbye to his family, and he went to the River Jordan. And there was John the Baptist preaching and baptizing people. And Jesus chose to be baptized by John. John took him into the water, and he put Jesus down under the water and brought him back up again. After that, Jesus came out of the water, and he went out into the wilderness, which is a very lonely place all by himself. And there he spent some time talking to God in prayer. Now, while he was there, he didn't have any food to eat. For many, many days, he didn't eat anything, and he became very tired and hungry and weak. But he knew that God would take care of him and give him food at the right time. Now, while he was out there, Satan came to him, and he pretended not to know that Jesus was God's son. And he said, If you are the Son of God, why don't you take some of these stones and turn them into bread, and then you'll have something to eat. But Jesus turned to Satan and said, Obeying God is more important than eating bread. Next, Satan took Jesus up to a very high point on the temple, and he said to Jesus, Why don't you jump down off of this pinnacle? God won't let you get hurt. He'll send his angels to protect you. But again, Jesus remembered some words he had learned from the Bible scroll. And he told those to Satan and told him no. Satan tried one more time to get Jesus to do something wrong. He took him up on a very high mountain and showed him many wonderful places and beautiful things. And he said to him, if you'll just bow down to me, I will give you all of these things. And Jesus turned to Satan and said, go away, Satan. For the Bible says you should worship only God. This made Satan angry, but he had to go away. Then angels came and helped Jesus and they brought him some bread to eat. Jesus ate the bread and he felt much better. He was strengthened to go and do the big work that he had to do. When we learn memory verses, we are doing what Jesus did. And then when Satan comes to tempt us, we will have something in our minds that we can tell him just like Jesus did when he replied with scripture and told Satan no. Jesus is very pleased to have us read his word and put it in our minds. Our memory verse this week is Matthew 4, verse 10. It says, You shall worship the Lord your God. Take a moment now and say that to your mom or dad. Matthew 4, 10. You shall worship the Lord your God.